How are you? Yeah, question. How are you? You know how I'm. How are you? There's little time for niceties when you're a leader at war. Volodymyr Zelensky welcomed Boris Johnson to Kiev as Ukraine, battling Russian aggression, pleads for more Western help. You are strong. The strength of the underdog, Ukraine's president battling for his country's survival, welcoming and pleading with the outside world to help fight Russian aggression. The unannounced talks came as Britain pledged 120 armoured vehicles and new anti-ship missile systems. My God. The two men were keen to suggest Ukraine is on the front foot, a walkabout in Kyiv inconceivable a fortnight ago. Yes, Boris Johnson basking in praise for his support from the public and the president. We have to exert pressure in the form of sanctions, and I'm grateful to the United Kingdom that continues and intensifies the sanctions, and also provides significant support to Ukraine by reinforcing our defence capacities. The other democratic Western countries should follow the example of the United Kingdom. From Boris Johnson arriving as horrors are unearthed from neighbouring towns, warm words for a leader he called a lion. I thank you for what you've been able uh, to do. I think your leadership has been extraordinary. And I think in what Putin has done in places like Bucha and in Irpin, uh, his war crimes have permanently polluted his reputation and the reputation of his, of his government. Boris Johnson was long keen to come here to Kyiv, but was waiting for the security situation to stabilise following the withdrawal of Russian troops from the area. And while this city has calmed, the renewed Russian offensive in the east has made Ukraine push even harder for more military aid. Russian tanks pushed on as a governor in the east urged civilians to flee immediately, warning of troops massing nearby. Bucha, near Kiev, now free of Russian troops, shows what might lie in store elsewhere. 360 people are said to have died here.